I'm David Herman Leach, E-R-N, D-O-N, and I simply be very succinct, very quick and brief, and just voicing and making sure that we place on the record for future use concerns and or objections to uh, this project. Uh, objection concern number one is safety for all houses, buildings, structures, hospital, use here in Cockman County, commercial buildings where gatherings of large people come, gas stations, wells, deep wells, shallow wells, wetlands that are here, wildlife ponds, and a high water table uh, which exists here in this county. The second concern would be uh, ever evolving the practice of agriculture. Uh, as the years go by, machinery gets larger, uh, toiling or uh, plowing, and uh, working the soil gets deeper. Water uses get uh, more. There's more additional laying of fuel pipes, water pipes, irrigation pipes. We uh, have a concern that in the future there may be agricultural practices which this could be impacting and impeding that we can't possibly uh, imagine at this point in time. Uh, as well, uh, my third concern would be, as noted in a letter of March 1st, 2014, uh, from Sabal Trail, uh, being in the, appears to be the second paragraph and indicates uh, an enclosure letter about the notice of the meeting this evening that uh, your property may be within 600 feet of the study corridor or uh, maybe within uh, one half mile of the proposed compressor station site. Um, the gentleman tonight indicated uh, there would not be a, did not mention Copper County being a compression station site. However, upon asking this evening, uh, some all officials in the back indicated that there may be a compression site located here in Caldwell County, and such a site would require 30 to 40 acres. So I would object and place on record concern of the notice that we've all been given as being insufficient because there would be obviously a vast difference of there being a corridor or if you're going to take 30 or 40 acres, then there's been making consistent uh, answers. Uh, fourth concern would be, uh, for the record, would be, uh, as has been touched upon, proximity to the older uh, six decade old uh, pipeline, and I would mention that should be exacerbated, uh, the concern, in addition to the uh, agricultural practices that are going on now, we are digging deeper uh, with bigger machines. Uh, that line is potentially, if not right now, tonight, more susceptible um, causing danger, and should that occur, um, then um, certainly there'd be additional uh, concern. Uh, I would ask you to please look at the percentage of tillable land in Coppa County as opposed to other counties. Um, you'll see that you're coming across one of the counties that has the highest percentage of land under cultivation. Uh, this is not just some um, pipe dreamer mentioning of, of hoping to slow this thing down. This is an immediate imminent danger with an older pipeline already under expanding change in cultivation practices coupled with this uh, could be uh, literally unfortunately an unimaginable bomb. Uh, number five is the valuation of large trades. There's already been discussion and some discussion of valuation of uh, not necessarily impacting the value uh, mentioning coupling it with like a roadway. A roadway brings commerce and traffic um, a gas line does not. It um, brings uh, any way you slice it potential additional danger that's not only going to be with this generation, but generations to come. And again, uh, not only will this guy's gas line be aging, but additional will farmers uh, and widows of farmers uh, depend upon the farm uh, not only as the um, family heirloom to pass down, but it's also a retirement uh, plan and an investment uh, for generations of families, and uh, that should be taken into consideration for valuation. It's not just 70 acres or 60 acres. Uh, it is, if you're coming through two acres of a 60 or 70 acre track, it in fact is destroying aspects of valuation for certain purposes of a tract of land like I'm talking about. At this point, I'm the concerns that I'd like to place on the record. Thank you. Thank you, sir.